Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to make a quick follow-up video on my last Zion All in Gas video. Okay, the last one, uh, we broke down a post that someone had shared in the Facebook group that got a ton of attention, over 100 comments, and uh, that they shared on Stock Twitch that was brought to our attention from a, a basic search on YouTube. This guy, I'm not YouTube, I'm sorry, Facebook. <laughs> and this guy from Facebook had posted something back on June 10th about... Uh, about him meeting with Zion Oil and Gas, and um, you know, with his company GE Oil and Gas, which is a, a subsidiary of Baker Hughes. Okay, so we made a video talking about okay, this is pretty random, right? And uh, had a lot of a lot of attention, a lot of people speculating and talking, and you know, someone had brought brought this up on the comment section on that Facebook post, I believe, is where it was at, or on Stock Twits. Um, you know, people were going back and forth saying, well, you know, this is real, this isn't real, this is fake, this is not, you know, all kind of stuff. And nobody knows because this, you know, the guy, he won't talk to you for one. If you message him, he'll block you. If you friend request him, he'll deny you or block you then as well. Okay, so um, that's that's A. So what I want to do here is I just kind of want to show you a couple things that I noticed after I saw a lot of the comments on the Facebook group. I um, I went ahead and kind of tested that theory out. Someone said, "Well, these are Google stock images," and um, and I want to kind of show you how I was able to verify that a lot of the pictures that he is posting are actually straight off of Google. They're not actually authentic. Okay. Uh, however, I mean his profile picture is authentic, uh, but uh, all the a lot of the pictures that you're seeing of these tanks and these people and and all this stuff is actually not authentic okay now for one just let me tell you something this video is not to bash anybody this video is not to be like haha I told you so or nothing like that so if you're gonna do that to the people who shared this then just don't comment at all uh, because you know that for from what you know for me it's they saw something and they were like oh look this would be cool to share and they shared it so I appreciate people actually showing you know showing us things and, and this guy may still be real and it still may be a uh, legit meeting that they had and I don't know maybe that's just his style he just pulls pictures off to um, you know pulls pictures off of the internet to show but uh, highly I mean to me it's kind of highly unlikely that you know I wouldn't do that I would just take a picture you know like hey this is so and so or this is my tank this is um, you know where I'm at today I'm going to take a picture and post it I'm not going to go search Google and download it and then put it on it's just a little strange also the friends if you look at the guys friends a lot of them are they look like fake profiles there's people on there that are friends and commenting on there um i went to several of the pages that uh, that friend the person and they have like se like i mean several different profile pictures and they're like hey this is me and i'm like well okay how do you look different in every profile picture like not hair color i'm talking about overall physical appearance Okay, so anyway, we don't know if uh, if this guy's real or not, or I, I, I'm not sure. So anyway, I just kind of want to show you what I did to check on uh, some of these pictures because the last one he posted, two of the things that he posted last, it kind of threw up a red flag to me. So I'm going to show you that first one here is um, I want to show you right now is is this picture here. If if you're on Google Chrome, go ahead and right click it. Okay, right click it. And then when you go down here, it's going to say search image with Google Lens. So right click, search image with Google Lens and click that. And whenever you click that, it's going to come up over here on Google Lens. And you're going to want to crop out the picture and then hit find image source. And when I do that, uh, it comes out and it, it immediately brings me to a Dubai car dealership. Okay, so now this one here, this Dubai car uh, dealership, this, I mean, this could have been him taking it at a dealership okay or it could easily be again another stock photo from you know one of these companies I um, obviously I, I didn't find this one however we'll go to the next post his next post is good morning all friends from or all friend from I'm at South Atlantic Oceans time now seven hours morning uh, weather uh, misspelled weather this morning very good so the chief engineer Jennifer Aniston that immediately thought of the show friends when he says this uh, wants to take a picture for memories at the ocean okay so I wanted to take a picture of the memories of the ocean 
So I click on the photo. We're going to do this again. Okay, we're going to go search image. And whenever we do that, uh, it's going to come up. And it's because it, what happens is Google starts searching for where is this picture coming from. So if you click on this, this is an article from August 3rd, 2021. And then you scroll down and here it is. <laughs> okay, so that's just one example of, you know, these pictures that this guy's posting. And he does it with, with a bunch of the other ones, too, with the tanks. Uh, the one before, there was another lady. And that's what kind of raised a, red, a really big red flag to me was that I saw, um, you know, up until yesterday, I didn't really look at any of his other posts besides the Zion Island Gas one. But he posted one, and I'm like, man, this looks like a stock photo. So I did it, uh, right-clicked it, searched Google, and sure enough, uh, several of the photos on that last post came from these articles. And then uh, diving a little bit further into uh, this, on the guy's post, he gives the captain's name, right? Like he talks about, he gives two different names on, uh, on his uh, Facebook post. And uh, it says something like, it says Jennifer Aniston on one, but then the bottom it says uh, at my Facebook post, I'm, I think he meant I'm posting is uh, Captain Kate Melissa at the Port uh, Grimaldi Lagos. But on this here, it says peek behind the seeds on board the Hispanic Spirit as deck cadet Diva Menendez. So this is apparently <laughs> Diva Menendez, not uh, anybody he's talking about. So it's really strange to me. Um, kind of how, you know, how that came about. So I guess, you know, it's, uh, is what it is. You know, I just want to kind of clear the air on that um, as well. So anyway, I just wanted to provide that update with you guys. Uh, like I said, not, not making this video to, uh, to, to bash anybody or be like, ha ha, you're wrong or anything like that. And I want to make that very clear. Let everyone know that, that I did kind of do some more research and, uh, info on that because I did make a video on this. So I wanted to go and follow up on um, on my last video. So there's one thing for sure: Xenog has still not released anything, and that is the big deal, right? So that's going to be um, that's going to be the, the the make or break thing. Not not anybody, you know, posting anything or sharing anything. It's going to be from the company. So when the company releases something positive that's whenever we'll get confirmation on exactly what's what i did also guys i, I know i told you this i emailed the ministry of energy once uh followed up with them last week i sent them a new email this week and uh, i'm going to see if maybe they'll reply because maybe the person that I emailed originally yeah maybe you know doesn't doesn't work with them anymore i don't know so i went straight to and I uh, went ahead and emailed someone new. Maybe I'll get a response. If I do, then uh, absolutely I'll be making a video and follow up on that. Other than that, guys, um, you know, just kind of take it easy. Again, Monday and Thursdays are when Xenog usually releases anything. So I do not expect any type of update today. Uh, but you never know, right? So I, uh, I was planning on buying some more this week. I actually didn't transfer funds in in time. So I'll have to do that over the weekend and look to buy more next week. But anyway, other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a great weekend. See you later.